Chapter 241, Proposing a Marriage, a Wedding Since the head of the southern palace had hardened her heart with ideas of proper social status, naturally, Zhang Chen wouldn't let Kiao Baishi come up short. Zhang Chen was unequivocal when it came to his own people, and he absolutely wouldn't allow his own men to suffer losses. After taking care of old men, Zhang Chen sent a few personal guards to deliver his handwritten letters to Vice Head Shizi Oya of the Myriad Treasures Palace, Crown Prince Yi Rong and Tian Xiao with the Dragon Teeth Guard. Even Miss Danf of the Tutor's Manor received Zhang Chen's letter. Didn't the head of the Southern Palace want to make a fuss about a display of splendor? Then let's see who could be more ostentatious. Dot. When Zhang Chen arose the next day, one of his underlings came in to report that Tian Xiao of the Dragon Teeth Guard had arrived. One had to admit that Tian Xiao was now one of Zhang Chen's loyal and die-hard supporters. Zhang Chen had taken him on his solo quest through the guard headquarters. He'd been the only one to witness the entire process, and the psychological impact that they had left in his heart was indescribable with words. Young Master Chen, I wanted to immediately come and visit you when I received your letter last night, but I learned that you had just emerged from closed-door cultivation. So, I was worried that it was too late and I'd be affecting your rest, so, haha, old Tian, what are you being so polite with me for? Zhang Chen chuckled. Tian Xiao also smiled and then responded, Oh right, young Master Chen. Vice Director Zhukai prevailed upon me to ask you today when he heard that you had invited me to propose a marriage on behalf of your friend. He is also very interested and he would like to join in later if possible. Vice Director Zhukai had been one of the biggest beneficiaries since Yang Zhao's fall. Previously, his title of first Vice Director of the Guard had far less influence than that of Yang Zhao's. Now that Yang Zhao had fallen, he was truly experiencing the sensation of being the first Vice Director. His gratitude towards Zhang Chen wasn't his primary motivator, but that he too could discern Zhang Chen's uncommonalities from this matter. He felt that he didn't have many conflicts of interest with Zhang Chen and he had stood opposite of Yang Zhao in many areas. Therefore, there seemed to be no problem in him taking the initiative and approaching Zhang Chen. It could even be said that Zhu Kai's forwardness had a few traces of buttering up Zhang Chen. Although he was the vice director of the Dragon Teeth Guard, he was well aware that in the eyes of a genius like Zhang Chen, a vice director was just a fart. Yang Zhao had also been a vice director with great power and incredible domination. And what happened to him? He paid the price with his life after offending Zhang Chen. Zhu Kai's sensitive perception noted that Zhang Chen had a great future in front of him. This was a person worth creating a relationship with. Zhang Chen knew that Zhu Kai was offering an olive branch when he heard Tian Chao's words. He smiled. It's rare that Vice Director Zhu Kai is also interested. With Vice Director Zhu Kai's aid, the entourage to propose the marriage will be even grander. Danf also arrived as they were speaking. Danf had obviously taken special pains in making herself up today. Fresh, light makeup added a few hints of friendliness to her demeanor. Sister Danf, as an ethereal goddess, you don't mind that I'm asking you to run an errand, do you? Danf's slender eyebrow arched. Don't poke fun at me. What would you do if I minded? Zhang Chen chuckled. Then I'll be part of your entourage in the future when you marry and hide in your presence. Danf's elegant mouth moved slightly when she heard these words and her exquisite nose wrinkled slightly. Her lips quivered but she didn't say anything, rolling her eyes at Zhang Chen. Crown Prince Yi Rong, Vice Head Shizi Oil, and the Vice Director Zhu Kai all arrived at the Zhang Manor not long after. Old Man also rushed in as soon as they'd set foot through the door. All of Zhang Chen's invited party were present and accounted for. Kiao Beishi could then be in amazement as he looked at the impressive entourage, touched beyond words. He knew that his honored master had called for so many on such a short amount of time to bolster his, Kiao Beishi's, entourage. Who in the Skyle Oral Kingdom would be able to measure up to this entourage? Wasn't Ning Kinyan's mother, the head of the Southern Palace, disdainful of his birth? Kiao Beishi was well aware that the honored master was doing this to enhance his public image and give him face. Dot. It was destined to be a bustling day in the Southern Palace's stronghold in the capital. Elder Ning of the Southern Palace was publicly selecting a groom. This was one of the biggest matters in the capital. As one of the four great sites, the Southern Palace's position in the capital was more than ordinary. The fact that one of the elders of the Southern Palace, the daughter of the head, was publicly selecting a groom would naturally cause an uproar throughout the capital. What kind of talented man would it take to be worthy of an elder of the Southern Palace and the palace head son-in-law? One entourage coming to propose marriage had arrived at the door of the Southern Palace's stronghold at this moment. This entourage had come from the Northern Palace. The star from the Northern Palace was the personal disciple of the head of the Northern Palace, one of the three great geniuses, Yu. This Xiaoyu wasn't on the same level as Liu Kan. Yu Kan had broken through half-step spirit realm on a fluke to become first level spirit realm. He'd barely managed to squeeze into the top tier of disciples within the northern palaces. However, Dao Yu was one of the three big geniuses of the northern palace. His level of training had reached second level spirit realm. Entering the precious tree sect was a foregone conclusion. However, at Dao Yu's level, his goal wasn't simply to enter the precious tree sect. He wanted to achieve even better results during the sect selection process and stun everyone present, achieving an even higher position when he entered the sect. Entering the sect was no longer Zhaoyu's goal. His goal was to obtain an even higher title when he entered the Precious Tree sect. He possessed full confidence when coming to propose marriage this time. To be honest, he didn't have much interest in an alliance by marriage to the Southern Palace. He hadn't been too happy to hear the seniors in his Northern Palace mention this matter. But after seeing Elder Ning's features, his more base desires came to the fore. Having been maddy over by the Four Seasons Eternal Spring Pill, Ning Kinyan's beauty was at the level of causing disasters. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that her beauty would cause cities and kingdoms to capitulate. Add to that. Ning Kinyan's unique aura, 
All of it made her seem greatly different to ordinary girls. Now you normally had a high consideration of himself but he acted quite out of the ordinary when he saw Nankinian's looks, proactively pursuing her with declarations of love. He also cooperated fully with the Northern Palace's marriage plans. Due to the previous matter of Liukin and the others, the Northern Palace had also realized that they were being subtly ostracized by the other three sites. Therefore, this time's marriage was one of the ways they could break the stalemate. They didn't wish to see the other three sites reach in accordance amongst themselves and exile the Northern Palace. Once they were ostracized, the Northern Palace would be beaten down by the others sooner or later. The senior executives of the Northern Palace wanted to avoid this at all costs. Therefore, they had chosen to ally through marriage and change the situation. Now you had been the one selected. Although he was a few years younger than Ninkinian, with his level of training, it was feasible to overlook being a few years younger. Particularly when Jiu himself had been mesmerized by Kenyan's beauty, and she was the daughter of the Southern Palace head to boot. They were of equal social status when it came down to it. His entourage included almost all of the senior executives of the Northern Palace. He also invited quite a few sect disciples to bolster his train. It could be seen that he was determined to get the girl. Now you himself had also gone to great pains to dress himself. He looked quite vigorous and energetic, with a demeanor of who else if not me? Northern Palace disciples Jiu greet Southern Palace head Ning. The head of the Southern Palace was also surnamed Ning. This meant that Ning Kenyon had taken her mother's surname. The princess of the Southern Palace, old woman Ning, liked what she saw more and more as she looked over the tall and handsome Yu. Hey hey, not bad, not bad. I too have heard of you, the genius of the Northern Palace. Your future is unlimited once you enter the precious tree sect to pursue advanced studies. Now Yu was inwardly filled with pride when he heard these compliments and he smiled demurely, flicking a glance at Ning Kenyon behind the old woman. When he saw Ning Kenyon's sexy and alluring body, the blush peeking through her glistening, translucent skin, and how her exquisitely shaped face was accompanied with defined features, he couldn't find the slightest bit of flaw to her, even when using the most critical of eyes to assess her. She appeared quite lovely and she seemed to invite others to protect her. Kenyon, now you greet you. Ning Kenyon frowned slightly. Although this now you looked gentlemanly, she wasn't the slightest bit predisposed towards him. She even slightly disliked him in her heart. If it wasn't for this guy, her mother may not have objected to her and Kiao Beishi. However, she still maintained her composure in front of so many others and nodded faintly, hello. Her eyes scanned outside the door a bit anxiously after she spoke. Her slender neck craning like a white swan as her two clavicle bones further offset the length and paleness of her neck. Judging from how you and the Northern Palace's attitudes, they felt that they had it in the bag already. Kenyon was a bit worried, but in a woman's heart, it was naturally the man that she loved who was the best in the world. She believed that Kiao Beishi wouldn't flee and he would surely come with his entourage to propose marriage to her. She already decided that if someone was up to anything in the shadows today, she wouldn't mind eloping either. She liked Kiao Beishi. She liked his conversations, his demeanor, his being, and everything about him. In the moment that he offered the pill to her, she could no longer tolerate another man in her heart. Kenyon, sit down. So many honored guests have come today, why are you so distracted? Palace Head Ning's tone was slightly displeased. A report came in from outside the door at this time, Palace Head, another entourage proposing marriage has arrived outside. 